Ever get split pushed so hard you want to win install? If you want to win lane versus this guy, there's two things your champions must have. Poke and a way to stall his ultimate out in lane. Teemo can do both with his blind and speed boosts. Pantheon has also a stun and a block that can deny him, and Renekton can stun, deal damage and gain distance fairly easily. Jax with his dodge to stun mechanic, Malphite with his ultimate to engage or run away, and Cho if he builds an early frozen heart are all viable counters too. Trinomir's passive makes him gain fury each time he attacks, crit strikes or kills an enemy. His Q grants him extra attack damage per missing health, and when activated will consume his fury to gain health. Trinda's W reduces the attack damage of enemies near him and slows those facing their back to him. His E turns him into a Beyblade, and finally his ultimate allows him to become unkillable for 5 seconds. Notice he can even use this while being CC'd, like a stun or a silence. The one thing I need you to understand is that when he activates his ultimate, you need to stop fighting him and take the chance to position yourself better. Even when his ultimate is finished, because activating it will grant him fury, most Trindomirs will cast Q to gain some health back up, so don't be baited by his 1 HP penis. <laughs> one HP penis. I've seen Trindomirs take a bunch of spells to the top lane. Ignite, Ghost, Exhaust, but mostly they'll take Teleport. I would recommend that you do the same. Either that or Exhaust to prevent him from chasing you down after engaging. As for his power spikes, this is quite the interesting champion. He doesn't really have a strong pre-6 game, especially without some help from his jungler. As for items, items that grant him crit chance cause him to gain enormous amounts of fury very fast, so he will likely engage you as soon as he's finished doing either Phantom Dancer, Static Shiv or Infinity Edge. If you're tanking it up a bit in the top lane, then definitely go for items that reduce his attack speed so that he doesn't quit you repeatedly and gains fury off of that. Frozen Heart and Randuins are great examples here, being that they give you a bunch of armor as well. Thank you for tuning in, good luck in your match and remember, run away when he ults, care for his heal after the ult, and stack attack speed reducing items. Ultimately, have fun doing it.